Hi guys, I'm Ed at Project Heaven and today I'm going to be walking you through how to put the floor pan together using the industrial spot welder. We have the E-Type here on a rollover jig. It might not look like an E-Type at the minute, but what I've had to do is cut out the entire floor pan and here in this um, purpose-made jig, I'm assembling a brand new floor pan and we're going to be spot welding it together along every single seam with the spot welder. I'm going to be using this inverter spot spot welder today to weld together the floor pan of the E-Type. I use the spot welder so we can keep the originality of how the floors were assembled in the factory. So with the spot welder, you can have interchangeable arms with it. So you can you can have long arms, short arms, angles, points, all sorts, for getting in any manner of spaces around any car. The <coughs> other part that it has, it has a single-sided spot weld gun where you stick an earth clamp to one side of the car and you can use the gun and spot weld from one side. So this is the spot welding gun. And I've got some super long extensions on it so we can reach all the joins from near enough a central spot on the floor pan. It's pneumatic, so, well, runs with compressed air. So it opens and closes the jaws. And once I've closed the jaws right together, that'll clamp it. It'll send the current through the two arms and melt the two panels together. Okay, so once I've been around the, all the edges of the floor pan assembly, I can start putting in the extra panels that we have, like the front of the tunnel and the rear of the tunnel. There's a few extra little bits to go on underneath, but I'll do that once it's out of the jig. So first of all, I'm gonna get these clamped into position and then start spot welding that way. Thanks for watching today's video on spot welding. If you need any metal work doing by us, please give us a call. <laughs>